morning everybody. I've got a new activity planned for today. Something uh, we're gonna work on, leaf prints. Very simple, simple activity that anybody can do outside. I'm gonna lay that away. What we need are brushes, Oops. a cup of water to clean our brushes, we all go get to pick out our favorite leaves. I've already got a few here from my demonstration. We've got paper towels to clean ourselves. Of course, our canvas paper. Best of all, paint. You can see mine's a little messy. I already had made one with my demonstration. Let me show you again. These are just various size leaves painted in different colors. And it gives the impression that it's a stamp, which is kind of like printing something on your own. So now, let's get to the demonstration. I'm gonna go ahead and use some leaves I've already used before. You can pick up to three leaves and three colors. I like blues, so I'm probably just gonna do two colors, blue and gray. So you want your darker colors to be the first ones you apply. That way, the top lighter colors will stand out and won't get lost in your dark color so lay it down gently press it down get all the corners down then you're going to grab the stem and just peel it up doesn't have to be perfect that's the good thing about art just go at it and have some fun i'm going to do one more in a dark blue we'll mix in maybe a little green we've got plenty of colors I've offered yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, green, pink, black. I'm actually going to do, like I said, just uh, blues and grays. I may need to add a little more paint. This leaf's already had some paint on it, so I'm going to get it good and saturated. Maybe add a little purple. It's art, so you can't go wrong with it. down your corners got another stamp best thing about it you get to get messy too okay now I've got my two colors now I'm going to go with a gray tint maybe brighten it up a bit if we have enough paint I may have to get a little more And you guys will be at your own picnic tables. You'll have your own brushes and your own paints. If by chance you can't get it to press down, I'm gonna show you a trick so the leaf will actually press down onto the paper equally. So I've got this big leaf. It's a lighter color, so it's not gonna drown out the back color. What I'm gonna do, it's a big leaf, it curls. I'm just gonna dab it with my other sponge. Probably good enough. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Sort of matches. Let's get some more gray. Now, if you're picky, you may just want to put maybe two colors, but for purposes of uh, demonstration, I've got all my colors laid out here. And I'm actually going to grab a new leaf. I think that's off my wife's dog a little bit. It's actually better if you go with the vein side as well, the underside of the leaf. So there we go. Got my paint. Now this one's gonna curl, so I'm gonna use my sponge again. Just lay it out. If I can get a hold of it with the fingers. And this time, I'm just gonna stamp it down a bit. Now this one should probably turn out pretty good. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, there's our dogwood. What else have we got? Let's try this little guy right here. We'll go back gray again. We'll get the underside of the leaf with the vein. I think that one will probably lay flat. Let's try it without our hands, without the sponge, sorry. 
put it right here. This is the funnest part of the activity is getting the paint all over you. Hopefully everybody brought their uh, old t-shirt. If not, I'll have aprons. Now, let's do one more. And I'll add one more color to it. You can't go wrong with a little bit of yellow and blue. Maybe a little green. Let's see what this one turns into. And I'll put just a little bit of purple and pink at the bottom of it. Let's see what that does. We'll put it in our empty space right there. I'm going to go back to my extra sponge. Actually, that's got paint on it. I couldn't keep them separated. Let's see what we get with that one. Mm, that one didn't turn out very well. But luckily, you're going to get in small groups. You're going to brainstorm and practice. Think about how you want it to look, the leaf size, the colors. And there's a sample of your finished product. We'll talk about it later. You tell me your favorite part about the project. And then we'll have a little bit of free time for you guys to hang out if we get finished. Hope you guys enjoyed.